Hey guys, today I am here at the beach. I thought I would do a, just a quick video just to show you I can work remotely. That's the cool thing about being a developer. But also, I just want to show you guys a new tool out called View Dev Tools. Well, it's not necessarily new, but they actually have a new version out. So let's check it out. All right, so if we go in to uh, View Dev Tools, and I'll put a link in the description below, basically it's an extension that you can add in for Firefox and all your major browsers to get more information on on what your Vue.js app is doing. So this is an extension for Vue.js. So recently 5.0 came out and a bunch of bug updates. <laughs> so you can see they added in a routing tab, a performance tab, a settings tab, a Vuex, editable Vuex state, density settings, native script support. So a bunch of really cool things. So I thought I'd just show it to you guys real quickly to see what's what's up. So I have an app right here. This is just an app I actually created for my book, Vue.js in Action, which you guys can find the link in the description below. And so once you go and install it, so I just if you just Google View Dev Tools, View Dev Tools, uh, Chrome or Firefox server you're on, you can just click here and then install it. It just takes two seconds. And then once it's installed, you restart your browser. And then you'll have this option at the bottom you can see here in the top right hand corner it'll tell you by the way you can't use it if you're in production mode but if you're in development mode you can and once you have it installed and you have a Vue.js website open then you can then start using it so you open up your console um, so you can just go to inspect here on on Chrome and then you have this view tab and you can see all these cool things so for example in this app I have here I can see my components I can see my root component, my app, and then I have this hello component, and I have my router links that it shows right here. I have my props, which um, I can look at there. I have my data. You see here's the router links. So it just kind of gives you a, an idea of what's in the app and all the different components that you have. Then there's this Vuex tab, and what's cool about this is you have mutation state and getters. So that's what I have in my app. But I can actually click here and now edit the state, which is really cool. So I can, let's say here, this is the first product. I have cat food, 29 pounds. And the new version of these view dev tools, I can now edit and save. So I changed to 30. Now you can see here it changed and updated to 30 right here, which is really simple and awesome. So you can kind of play around with it. And also, I clicked on it, so it went to the next page. Uh, one other thing you can do is if you click on routing you can see the history so I can see hey I clicked on this route here I went to route 1001 I can see the full path anything matched the path the full path all this is just right there which is really cool then I got my performance so now you have this performance tab right here and I haven't played around with the performance but I guess you can set breakpoints and then see the frames per second or I guess you can set markers in component render so I'm not sure how to do that yet uh, here's the settings tab, something new. You can actually add a new theme. I can add like a dark theme, light or auto. I can change um, normalized component names to original names or Pascal cases. I can turn on editable props. I can change this uh, Vuex to auto load. And then there's a refresh. So yeah, so lots of cool stuff you can do here. Uh, I would highly recommend checking it out uh, in the links in the description below. And if you guys like these type of videos, make sure you like, comment, and, and subscribe. And if you like me doing videos remotely from a beach, then let me know how you think this is. Take care. What do you need, Hi. Lyle? Hi. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. Okay, buddy, let me finish this hi, video. Hi, guys. Okay. Can I say hi? Thank you.